Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm going to be giving you guys an updated routine. I'm showing you guys how I beat my face. So this is really skin focused. I'm teaching you guys how to prep the skin. We are taking it from step one all the way to step 37. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure how many steps is in this video, but it's a lot of steps. But I'm just telling you, if you want a beat face, you want your skin to look great, flawless, you want to look younger, put together, you want your complexion just be uniformed and yet you you look like you're wearing makeup but you don't want to look like cake face and you don't want to feel like cake face because let me tell you something there have been many times in the past where I've done my makeup and I thought you know high coverage full coverage full on glam you just you need more the truth of the matter is you don't necessarily need more you need to just work in layers in very thin layers to build up that coverage this way your face doesn't get cakey you don't look like you're wearing pounds and pounds of makeup and you're comfortable and it lasts longer and who doesn't want makeup that will last hours and hours and hours especially if you have a long day of meetings of projects of just anything of out on the town you just you just want to look good all day so this is my updated routine i really hope that you guys enjoy this if you like informative videos like this then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up down below this way i know to keep these kinds of videos coming and also if you have not done so yet please be sure to subscribe and click that bell button this way you get a notification every time i'm uploading a video here on my youtube channel without further ado Let's stop babbling and let's get on to my full beat makeup routine. All right, guys, we're looking a little pale and we're looking a little tired, injured, sad. The pimples are out. It's not a great skin day for me. So if I'm going to pick any day to do a nice full beat, today is going to be the day. I was going to do a natural beat, but... I know myself and when I say natural the end result is never really that natural so we're gonna go for a beat but it's gonna be a comfortable beat you're not gonna feel cakey you're not gonna feel like you're wearing too much makeup and you're not gonna feel like a pound cake face I hate when I can feel the makeup on my face so we're gonna go natural but full coverage that's the goal it is very important to focus on your skincare pre makeup it's important all the time honestly skincare is such an important factor in how great your makeup's gonna come out. Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Lip Scrub. I think this was a limited edition. I don't think they sell this anymore, but honestly, you could just take a little bit of water on your finger and some salt, and that will do you good. NYX Plump It Up Lip Plumper. You guys know I use this all the time. I like to put a nice juicy moisturizer on. I think a little thicker of a moisturizer, especially for when you're going full glam. I would recommend the Charlotte Tilbury. Her magic cream is amazing. Um, but what I have on hand that is drugstore and I really like just as much as the magic cream. Okay, but wait, before we even get into that, I forgot I wanted to put serum on. So this is the Vici Mineral 89, the booster serum. It's just gonna add a little bit more hydration into the skin. The Pons Dry Skin Cream. You guys have seen me use this quite a few times on my channel. I really like this cream. It's so nice. It's a little thicker than your average moisturizer, at least one that I would gravitate towards and reach. It's good to have really hydrated skin. If your skin is too hydrated and you're going in with makeup and you notice along the way as you're doing your makeup, you're getting oily through your makeup, you can go in with powder and really take away that moisture. So it's better to start with an overly hydrated face in my opinion that it is to start with a super dry face because if your skin's really dry a lot of the times it'll soak up that makeup like your skin is thirsty so it just wants to absorb anything that's on your skin so it will absorb not only your moisturizer but also your makeup that just causes your makeup to really dissipate a lot quicker throughout the day than it normally would because your skin is literally eating it so Relief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I use this pretty much every time I do my makeup. I get like eczema patches right here. I kid you not. And if anyone else experiences that, please let me know down below in the comment section. So I kind of pack it in this inner corner and I really make sure to give it some time to settle into my skin before I move on to the eyes. But we're gonna do the eyes last today. What do we think about this headband? Do I look too bougie? Like, I know I'm bougie, okay? I know I'm super bougie, but am I like too bougie in this headband? I bought it on Amazon. If you think it's as cute as I think it is, 
and you like to look a little bougie, bougie on a budget, then uh, I will link the headband down below. So check it out down there. And while you're down there, subscribe and click the bell button. Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. Pack this into my pores and you can even see like it blurs them out before I even put makeup over it. You can see the difference. It's wild. But I take it and I just like press it, like press it and push it into the skin. See how like blurred it is here? As opposed to here where you can see all my pores, see them? Maybe if I cast a shadow, yeah, 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 see? All in here, they're not that bad on this side. Isn't that wild? It's really good, I highly recommend it. Definitely something I'm gonna be wearing on my wedding day. And then I'm just gonna press it along the chin base tape. I'm going to put this on the perimeter of my face, anywhere where I find I get a little dry. So I'm going to put it on my nose and I'm going to put it out here and I'm going to pack it here as well. It's really like the bottom half of my face. I'm kind of just putting it everywhere. Shave tape, concealer. I'm going to take a small Eco Tool sponge. I got both of these in an Eco Tools set. I will put the name of the set down below. It's awesome, amazing, and you can always get it on sale. I'm going to be taking the mini Eco Tool sponge that comes in the set and I'm just going to pounce this into the skin. Now remember, I said light layers. So I'm going to go ahead and take this sponge. I'm going to take my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Do that, a couple spritzes, and then I'm going to go over all of that concealer. Light layers, but very blended light layers. And you want to make sure that you're getting that concealer on the sides of the nose because it's not cute when you can see like a cake crease. That's, no one likes that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take my NARS. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm in the shade Vienna. Put this on my beauty palette. I'm going to take about two pumps, bigger eco tool sponge. And I'm just gonna pat this all over my face. And I'm gonna work in sections. So I'm gonna do this section of the face first. And this feels kind of dry to me, so I'm gonna soak it a little bit with that Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and continue to blend. Now you guys saw, my skin does not look that great. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do this full coverage makeup look without wearing too much makeup. You can still be full coverage and have a really glam effect without wearing too, too, makeup, too much makeup. That's not saying that it's not gonna be time consuming and it's not going to take a lot of steps, okay? But it's taking time to blend it out. That's the most time consuming thing. And going in and working in layers. We used probably about one pump of that foundation. I'm gonna spray my face. Go in again with the sponge. Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer by Catrice. And I'm just gonna put this where I need it, where my circles are bad. So just right here. But I'm gonna put some up here as well. Smaller sponge. And I'm gonna use the butt of the sponge. And just stamp that in. Bigger sponge. And I'm gonna take the side that's a little bit longer with the longer edge, and I'm just gonna press my skin one last time. What's ever left of that foundation? Eco Tools, the pointy little, and I'm just gonna pat this over my zit. Same thing over here. I'm not going in with that lighter concealer because when you put a lighter concealer over a pimple or a blemish, whatever you want to call it, it highlights it. So it makes it look more raised. It makes it look more forward. You know, when you highlight a cheekbone and it really comes forward, that's what putting a lighter concealer on your pimples does. I like to go in with concealer first because it has fuller coverage. And then I like to put a little bit of foundation over it like you just saw me do. So that's exactly what I just did. Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Celestial. 
So I'm just putting this on the highest points of my cheeks. And I put it below the brow, even though we didn't do the brows yet, but just anywhere that you want to highlight. I like to go between two fingers when I'm blending a highlight. So I like to take the finger that I initially put the product on, put that down first, and then I take a clean finger and just blend it out. And I want my cheeks to look a little plump. So I'm gonna add a little highlight right here. So it brings the light right here. And it just makes my cheeks look a little fuller, like a little bit fuller. I've been playing around with this technique a lot lately just because I have like sagging in this section of my face. So if I put a little highlight here, it'll bring some highlight and some like puffiness there. I'm gonna put a little bit down my nose, what's ever left between my two fingers. On my cupid's bow as well. And a little bit on my chin. Just pat very gently over that. I'm not adding anything to the sponge. I didn't spray it or anything. I'm just blending this all in. You guys all know what I'm going to use. I don't even think I need to say it, but this is the Ardell Glam Touring Contour and Highlighting Stick. I don't use the highlighting sign, which I talk about all the time. I just want Ardell to come out with a contour stick. Get rid of the highlighting. Sorry, the highlighting is trash. But this contour is bomb. I'm definitely going to contour the nose. I'm going to put that there. Definitely want to make my five head a forehead. I'm going to take like one mist of that Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I use so much of this setting spray. It's so amazing. I'm going to pat this into the skin and just look how quickly this blends out. I cannot, I cannot. It's so good. Oh, and I do want to put some underneath my lip, but we need to remember to blend it out. Yes, I feel like that just does so much for my lips when I actually do it or when I actually trust myself enough to do it because you guys know I've said this so many times but I've left my home so many times without blending that out and then I'm going to squeeze this and blend out the sides of the nose and underneath the lip I'm going to dip back into what's ever left of that foundation on here and I'm just going to pat this over the nose contour just to make it look a little bit more natural. But bouncing it, not moving any of the contour underneath it or that highlight. Okay, I'm going to go back in with my sponge and I'm just going to take away any of those creases. Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I love this stuff and I think it's great for any of you who dry under eyes. Take that on a side of the sponge and I'm gonna just pat that into the eye and above. Now for me, it's kind of critical that we bake. That's just me. I'm a little high Meg and this is why I said I cannot do a natural beat. I need to do, uh, you know, I just need to be true to myself and I feel like I just use a little bit more makeup, but that's just me. So I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna wiggle some onto the lid. And I'm gonna take my small Eco Tool sponge and I'm gonna bake underneath the eyes and on the sides of the nose. And I'm kind of just like drawing a triangle underneath the eye. And I'm not trying to get it on my cheekbone because that is where we highlighted but it might get on there inevitably. I'm going to take a little bit on that edge and I'm going to stamp out that nose contour. My nose is crooked, okay? I love nose contouring and me and my nose contouring are not perfect but I have to say we have come a long way so I cannot hate on her. And I'm going to put some up here. 
I'm just like a powder hoe, okay? I'm really sorry. I'm gonna take the Aquasurance Compact Pressed Powder and I'm just gonna lightly dust this on the rest of my face because I'm gonna go in with powder. Okay, my brows are being highly uncooperative today, which is really rude, but I'm gonna dust off this bake. I'm just gonna take the brush and just brush that bake up just to blend. I love this because it's a cream blush, but you can put it over powder. This is the Honest Beauty Cream Cheek Blush in Peony Pink. I'm gonna pop in this where I put the contour, pretty much. I like to put my blush over my contour. I think it looks really pretty. I'll put some down my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. I'm gonna go in with this Ofra Madison Miller palette. It is a hot mess my palette, but I am loving the highlighter and the blush. It's unbelievable. This powder over here. I'm gonna take a little bit of this, but I wanna mix it with my makeup forever, cause I'm high May. Uh, Pro Light Fusion in number one. Dip in there as well. And then I'm gonna pat this on here. because the last time I, I hopped into Madison, it came up two gold on my skin and I really do like that highlight, but I'm getting a little paler. I guess the summer is a lot further away than I remember it being. I'm gonna take some on my nose and then fluff it. I'm gonna fluff some on my chin, on my cube as well. Take some on my finger blush in this Madison Miller palette and I'm going to keep it to the back. So we're still going to have that flush from before. There's going to be even more flush in the back. So that's going to lift the face backwards. I'm working continuous setting spray. Big Eco Tool sponge and I'm just going to stamp my skin very very lightly this is going to help set everything and this is the last chance for the sponge to pick up any excess makeup that you may or may not want i love this step i think it's really important to just go over once over after spraying just because i think it's it just mixes everything really nicely it blends everything out a little bit better but then unfortunately you kind of need to go over those blemishes one more time so i'm going over that with that foundation just one last time that's okay i think i'm just gonna throw a wing on but the question is what liner do i want to use because i've been struggling with my liners this one from Joa. It's been a hot minute. This is the I'm So Fly liner. I'm trying to keep it really close to the lash line in the inner corner. I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs highlighter and I'm just gonna line underneath the top lash line. I just don't want to see any of my skin between my lashes. Jeffree Star times Morphe. I'm going to grab the black in here. This is the Fast Lane eyeshadow. And angled. Grab some of that. Set this liner with the black because this liner, I don't trust it. And I feel like it's going to move. And I don't want it to move. And I want it to be a little bit blacker, but I don't want it to be shiny. I want it to be a matte wing. And this liner is kind of shiny so I'm just correcting that I'm gonna curl my lashes really gently because I don't want to disturb that top liner Il Maquillage this is the Icon high volume mascara I'm kind of into this just like the cat eye now I'm just gonna add this to the top lashes I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and I'm gonna take Honest Truth from this Jeffree Star palette. And I'm just gonna hit that underneath the eye. 
Mr. Diva same brush and just further blend that out. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like it's too blank under here. You know? Lynn. And I kind of just want to put that on the inner corner of my eye. Just like brighten it up without a sparkle. And just hit this right here. It's just like a matte and it just brightens that up. Yes. I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Telescopic and I'm just gonna hit the bottom lash line. This is the Stila Smudge Kajal Nude Liner. I'm just gonna take that on the waterline. Koki Dusty Rose Retractable Lip Liner. And I'm just gonna line the lips. And then I'm gonna take my Maybelline Blushing Beige. This is my favorite lipstick. Like, if I could only have one lipstick, I think I would figure out a way to make this one work. I can blend that out with my finger. I'm gonna use the Fenty Diamond Milk. Wow, that's hurting. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand because I hate when I get the wands all. Just... Sorry, I'm making a mess. I put some on the back of my hand because I hate when I get the wand all discolored. All right, guys, and this is the finished makeup look. I have to say, I feel very fierce and I feel like my face is a lot more lifted than it was in the beginning of this video. It's all about contour, it's all about angles, it's all about those thin layers to really give you a finish like this. You know, I mean, it's clear we're wearing makeup. Does it look like we're wearing pounds and pounds of makeup? I really don't think so. Like if you just look at, like my cheeks look so plump and so dewy and so delicious. Like I would love to just like take a bite of my cheeks like right here. I love this. I'm loving the cat eye, honestly, an angled cat eye. If you angle it correctly to your face, it's gonna lift everything up. We are lifted, youthful. I am in it and I'm loving it. So this is just a taste of what exactly I would do if I had an event, if I had a wedding to go to, and you know, TBD on my wedding makeup because I'm still playing around with makeup, but I would definitely work my way with these kind of layers. I wouldn't necessarily use all these products. I have been narrowing them down, so stay tuned for my wedding makeup tutorials. The cooler months are coming, as much as we don't want to admit it, but winter is coming, my friends, and you know, as much as I hate the snow and I hate the cold and I just hate the winter overall, I look forward to a beat face. I look forward to powdering the shit out of my face and I look forward to just looking like this. So if you're looking forward to that, then stay tuned because there's gonna be a lot of this on the channel. I just, I can't do, I mean, I can do a natural makeup look, but I just love a full beat. Like this is just so me and I love it. So. If you enjoyed the video you know what to do subscribe if you have not done so yet and also click that bell button this way you get a notification every time i'm uploading a video here on my channel we're doing twice a week not four times a week twice a week two a week uploads very exciting a lot of content is on the horizon so be sure that you are here you're subscribed and you stay informed i had a great time as always thank you guys so much for joining me and i will see you in my next one bye finders Mwah.